The seven wall hangings, collectively known as the Unicorn Tapestries, are among the most intriguing works at the Cloisters Museum. They not only capture the modern viewer's imagination, they also inspire the fascination that many viewers have with the medieval imagination. These examples of late medieval weaving invite us back to an era of faith, a time when the mythical unicorn was still very much alive in the medieval mind. However, the popularity of these exquisite tapestries is matched by how little we actually know for certain about them. Their history and meaning are continuous subjects of scholarly debate. Of all the unicorn tapestries, the one whose meaning remains most elusive is the mystic capture of the unicorn. This tapestry seems to depict a turning point in the unicorn hunt narrative. In previous panels, the mystic creature had been sighted and surrounded. But even after being wounded, it has eluded capture. Medieval mythology believed that the unicorn was a swift and powerful creature who could only be captured by the affection of a virgin maiden. This entrapment of the unicorn by the power of pure love is the subject of this panel. Our understanding of this tapestry is complicated by the fact that it has been badly damaged and only survives in fragments. One segment depicts a hunter blowing a trumpet. Another fragment depicts a lady, two dogs, and the mythic creature. Wrapped around the unicorn's neck is the hand of a figure. Her image, and indeed most of the tapestry, has been lost. To help us fill in the blanks of the scene and aid in its interpretation, we need to look at comparable examples of the so-called mystic hunt of the unicorn. One such work is a page from a Netherlandish book of hours. Although the mystic hunt of the unicorn may seem rather alien to the modern viewer, this subject was very popular in Northern European art around the year 1500. As if the unicorn wasn't a sufficiently fantastic subject on its own, what is even more uncanny about this manuscript illumination is its visual conflation of the unicorn myth and the incarnation of Jesus Christ. However, there are in fact numerous examples in which the iconography of the unicorn hunt was used as an allegory of Christ's incarnation. The capture of this mythic creature is a love story of sorts. The saintliness of the maiden's affection seduces the unicorn. In this image, the Virgin Mary is the perfect maiden. Her womb, into which God himself takes resonance, is symbolized by the enclosed garden. In scenes of the mystic hunt of the unicorn, the angel Gabriel is depicted as a hunter. In this book of hours, he grips the leashes of two dogs. But this exchange of iconography between the angel and the hunter can go both ways. If we look at the panels from the unicorn tapestries, we find that one of the trumpeters has a scabbard with the Latin inscription, Hail Queen of Heaven, a clear reference to Gabriel's greeting to Mary at the Annunciation. Blowing his horn, the hunter angel chases the unicorn into Mary's enclosed garden. Like more traditional depictions of the Annunciation, Mary is shown seated on the ground, reading a text. The virgin subdues the unicorn, which places its head in her lap. While these surviving fragments from the unicorn tapestries don't specifically depict Christ or the Incarnation, the late medieval viewer would likely have seen the drama of these beautiful hangings in the context of this popular allegory. While this conflation of the unicorn hunt and the incarnation manifests the alluring oddity of the medieval imagination, there are nevertheless some theological problems with this allegory. This image suggests that Christ may have been baited into the incarnation by Mary's irresistible virtue. In 1563, the Council of Trent officially rejected the use of the unicorn hunt as a depiction of the Incarnation. 
This unorthodox iconography subsequently disappeared from art history. However, even if the mystic capture of the unicorn is theologically suspect, there is still something to appreciate in this magnificent yet damaged tapestry. This depiction of the captured unicorn as a symbolic representation of Christ's incarnation reveals how the sacred and the secular were intertwined in the medieval imagination. This synthesis of fantasy and reality may in part account for the seductive power of the unicorn tapestry's irresistible charm. <laughs>